So uh, we, we can say that we are pub- probably uh, feeding young pigs with more nutrients that they can digest and absorb. And we are feeding the, uh, the, 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 the sows with more nutrients than they need as they can digest, uh, they, as they have higher digestibility of nutrients and, and energy than growing and, and finishing pigs. So uh, these results <clears throat> may be an indicative that we, we can do a fine turning in, di- in diet formulation. Welcome to the Swine Nutrition Black Belt Podcast, the latest swine nutrition research digested for you. I'm your host, Clayton Chastain, and today we have with us Dr. Urbano Ruiz, a professor at the University of Sao Paulo. So Urbano, it's been a few months since you've been on the show, so before we get started, would you mind giving the audience a brief introduction about yourself? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Clayton, for the invitation to, to your podcast. Uh, I am a professor at the University of Sao Paulo, in swine production and animal nutrition. So, and we have been conducting some studies about feed evaluation, mainly for for pigs. Gotcha. So I see you and your team have done some work with corn gluten meal and corn germ meal and other products like that throughout different stages of production. So could you explain a little bit about what all your team has worked on regarding these feedstuffs? Yes, sure. Uh, We have been studying the use of uh, co-products in, in swine feeding. Uh, in this specifically specific study, we evaluated the digestibility of three corn co-products, corn gluten feed with 21% crude protein, corn gluten meal with 60% crude protein, and uh, the, fat, the fatted uh, uh, corn germ <coughs> meal with 20, 22% crude protein. And this evaluation was done using pigs of different ages. So we used uh, pigs in the initial growing uh, and finishing phases and also uh, adult pigs. Actually, all the pigs were uh, female. uh, um, And the, the idea and our objective with this study was to verify if uh, according to to the growing of the pigs, <clears throat> there would be difference in the use of, uh, in the digestion and absorption of nutrients and energy. Uh, we know that for energy, there are uh, <clears throat> studies that shows the, uh, uh, difference in energy use, but for amino acids and for phosphorus, there are not uh, uh, results uh, showing uh, this difference. So uh, our ob- objectives were to verify if the, the, the difference really exists. And the results were very interesting as uh, we could fi- find difference uh, in all stages of uh, of production or of growing of the pigs, that for the, the three feed ingredients, there were linear increases in the digestibility of energy, uh, amino acids, and phosphorus. Uh, but the, the these differences were uh, different according with the feed ingredients. For instance, considering the, the two ingredients that had have a, a, a higher fiber content, the corn gluten feed and the corn uh, and the corn germ meal, uh, <clears throat> the differences between the pigs of different ages were greater than the difference we found for the corn gluten <clears throat> meal, which has has a very low um fiber content and uh, in general we we found that the the results found for the the pigs in growing and and finishing phases are similar to 
to, to the data that are in feed composition tables and the, the digestibility uh, found for the young pigs are lower and for the adult sows are greater. So uh, in general, uh, we, we can say that we are prob probably uh, feeding young pigs with more nutrients that they can digest and absorb and we are feeding the uh, the 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 sows with more nutrients than they need as they can digest uh, they as they have higher digestibility of nutrients and, and energy than growing and, and finishing pigs so uh, these results may be an indicative that we, we can do a fine turning in, di in diet formulation. Uh, considering the young pigs, if you, uh, of course, if we, we apply these results or, or we assume that the, the same we found for the corn core products, we can find for uh, corn grain or for uh, soybean meal, uh, <clears throat> We can change the, the the formulation of diets of young pigs in, in order not to have uh, such amount of uh, undigestive and uh, undigested uh, nutrients in the diet that can be used for by microorganisms and uh, cause diarrhea and other related problems. And also, when we think about the, the, the sows, the, the adult, adult females, uh, we can maybe adjust the diets uh, uh, to reduce the excess nutrients they are probably uh, receiving. So the, these, these possible modifications can be... Can, have the potential to increase the productivity or at, at least to, to, to make the production more efficient and also to reduce the, the amount of nutrients that the, the animals are not using that are in excess in the diet and are being extracted uh, in, in the manner. So, uh, of course, the we have to this, this uh, to do this kind of evaluation using another other ingredients like corn grain, sorghum, uh, soybean meal that are, are the main ingredients used uh, in Brazil uh, at least for for pigs uh, to verify if the same effects we found for the corn co products we will find for these ingredients. Uh, but I think that there are a lot, uh, this uh, study uh, brought a lot of uh, ideas to, to future studies and to uh, uh, make this fine turning in the formulation of diets for pigs of different ages. Giga Technologies manufactures just all swine precision feeding systems, designed by a family of pork producers for pork producers. The Gestal feeders are a simple, durable, and reliable solution, trusted by industry experts for all production stages. For 30 years now, Giga Technologies has been at the forefront of innovation, continuously enhancing sow nutrition and delivering remarkable outcomes for producers. Contact Giga Technologies specialists to learn more. Gotcha. So one question I have for you, Urbano, is how does the digestibility of these feedstuffs compare to some of the more typical grains that we use, such as corn or sorghum meal or distillers? I think uh, considering the, the three products that we tested, uh, possibly the digestibilities of uh, corn grain and soybean meal will be closer to what we found for corn gluten meal. But... Uh, being more precise, we will be clo close not uh, considering that uh, the pigs will present the same values, but the same pattern uh, considering the, the age of the pigs. As corn and soybean meal have uh, uh, not high fiber content, content uh, we think that the results will be this, 
will behave the same or have the same pattern that we found for corn gluten meal. I mean, uh, we, we expect to, to find difference uh, uh, according to the ages of the pigs, so a linear, linear increase of digestibility, but uh, in a lower magnitude uh, or, or with a lower difference between the, the, the young pig to the adult pig, as we found for corn gluten meal. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> this influence is mainly because of the, the fiber content of these ingredients. And uh, we think that the opposite is, is true. When we work with uh, ingredients that have a greater fiber content, we expect to, to find uh, a greater difference uh, among the pigs of different ages in the digestibility of nutrients and energy. Awesome. And in terms of future research, do you plan to do any more research trials with these specific products in the future? Or what exactly are your plans there? Uh, we are planning to do some studies using uh, uh, ingredients that are very important for swine production in Brazil, which are corn grain, soybean meal, and also the corn ethanol co-products like distilled dried grains. Uh, this kind of co-products in, in Brazil are, uh, are in the production of these co-products is increasing a lot. Now, uh, today, uh, around 10 to 12 percent of the corn produce, produced in Brazil is being used in the ethanol industry. But the, the expectation is that in, in 10 or, 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 or less years, we will have around 20% of the corn products produced here being used for the production of ethanol. And as a consequence, there will be a great amount of uh, corn DDG and DDGS to be used in animal nutrition and, and also in, in swine nutrition. So we, we want to expand the, the, the study we, we did to all of this kind of nutrients, corn grain, uh, soybean meal, also sorghum, that, which is a, a, an important ingredient for pigs in Brazil, and the corn core products from the ethanol industry. So uh, evaluated the difference uh, among pigs uh, with different ages in the digestibility of nutrients and energy and create a nutritional matrix uh, for each ingredient that are specific for the age of the pigs. Uh, we believe that we can find uh, uh, important information to be more precise in feed formulation and to increase efficiency in, in pig production. Awesome. Well, I believe that's all the time we have. So thank you, Urbano, for coming on the show and sharing all your research with us. Thank you, Clayton. It's a pleasure to participate in our podcast. Yep. And everyone else, thank you for listening to the Swine Nutrition Black Belt podcast. Please visit us at swinenutritionblackbelt.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our podcast channel so you won't miss out on the next episode. See you next week.